All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. Hey y'all, welcome to another collaboration video with me, Juju Bay, and Real Talk Session Series. And today we're gonna to be doing a little pendulum divination educational videos, AKA, Pandy Swing My Way. Uh, uh. I know that was corny, but that's the title of the video. All right, let's get to it. So what is divination? Let's start there. Divination is a way to communicate with ancestors, spirits, spirit guides, angels, your higher self, whatever you want to call it or whatever you're trying to communicate with. That is divination. It is a way to access information from another realm. So today we're gonna discuss divination using a pendulum. So this is a pendulum. Um, you may have seen something like this before. A pendulum is basically an instrument that swings because of gravitational pull. But this is not a scientific video, so I'm not gonna get into too much of why pendulums swing and how. You're gonna have to look up the science of it. So it's a tool that people use in hoodoo and really other occult you know, practices in order to communicate with spirits. So I wanna walk through when you first get your pendulum what to do and then how to interpret yes or no messages from the pendulum. So it's just gonna give us yes or no. Sometimes it gives us maybe, and I'll show you that in a second. So this is a pendulum that I got. I have not used it yet, so I'm gonna cleanse it, charge it, and show you all that whole process. So before I start divining with this, I need to clean it. So I want to cleanse my pendulum with mugwort and dragon's blood. So this is that, and I think it's a mix of sage in here as well. So I'm gonna burn this so I can cleanse it because we don't wanna use anything that is not clean. And we wanna make sure that we're removing all the energies from it that were on it previously before we got it. So I'm going to light my cleansing stick here, my dragon's blood and my mugwort. I like that we're cleaning this with mugwort as well because mugwort is good with interpretation of spirits and dreams. Um, it's a very witchy herb, so I like that we're cleaning with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cleanse my pendulum here, make sure all the other energies that's on it get off, make sure that it's good for us to divine cleansing all that off, okay? You can also use Florida water like I have here if you wanna just put that on it, but this is the smoke cleanse should be enough. So now we've set our intentions, we've cleansed it, we all good, the pendulum is ready for use. So now that the pendulum is clean, I'm going to set my intention of to use this pendulum to communicate with my loving ancestors, my ancestors that are in alignment with my highest self, and I ask that the pendulum show me clear and concise and accurate answers of yes, no, or maybe when I ask it. So we told the pendulum what we're doing, we've set the intention, it's clean, so we're ready to go. Now, how do we know which way is yes or no? We have to ask the pendulum. So, pendulum, when you're trying to communicate yes with me, can you show me how you will show me yes? So show me yes. So we wait and the pendulum will slowly start to swing. Which way is yes? So as you can see, the pendulum is swinging left to right. I'm not moving it. I know it may seem like my hands are shaking a little bit, but no, it's moving left to right. So that's the pendulum's way of showing that this is a yes. So let's ask the pendulum, okay, so what way do we want to swing for, for no? Show me no. Okay, so I'm not sure if you all can see, but it's going in a circle uh, towards the left. Ooh, the no is strong. Okay, so this is no. So now we see that yes is left to right and no is the circular uh, counterclockwise motion. Let's see if it has the maybe to show us. Can you show us maybe? Is there a maybe? 
Okay, so we see the maybe is forward and back. You see that? The baby's pretty strong too. So now we know how the pendulum speaks. It showed us that if it's saying yes, it's going to go left to right. If it's going to say no, it's going to do a counterclockwise motion. And if it's maybe, it's going to go forward and back. So now we know which way the pendulum swings to get the answers that we want. So let's come up with a question. Hmm. Pendulum, did I do a good job on this video? Let's see. Yes, I did. <laughs> you see the back and forth motion. So now we know which way the pendulum swings and we know what answers that we're trying to get. I love, love, love pendulum divinations because it's just simple, it's easy. It's a quick yes or no, you ask it how it shows you the answers and then it shows you the answers and that's it. Another tip, you just wanna to try to keep your arm really still. I know I was holding mine in the air, but if you have trouble keeping it still, just rest your arm or your elbow on a, on a surface so that it's nice and, and sturdy so your pendulum is able to move um, and give you the answers that, that it needs. It's saying, yes, you're right, boo. <laughs> also, before using your pendulum, some people like to charge it uh, under the moon. Some people charge it in the sun. Some people put the pendulum on their ancestor altar for some time being to just let the, the good juju kind of soak it up. You can do all of that or or not. You know, I just opened mine up. I cleansed it today in front of you all and asked it the questions. But you can always, you know, give it to your ancestors, sit at your altar and do this work. Or you can just do it out. Like you don't have to be in front of any kind of shrine or altar in order to use this. You can be out of the grocery store. You can be out with your friends. Whenever you need to ask questions from spirit, you always just set your intentions, make sure your mind is clear and ask away. Um, I probably should have said this before, having a clear mind is super important because the pendulum can kind of pick up on our own energies and sometimes that can affect the way that it's swinging or if we're really anxious or really nervous when we're asking a question, it, sometimes you didn't see it today, but it'll like kind of shake and be like, I don't know which way to go. It's, it pretty much gives, I don't know which way to go energy. So that's why I take a deep breath, really just, Prepare yourself to get the divination so that the pendulum is clear, you're clear, and you can get the answers that you need. Okay, y'all. Well, thank you for swinging my way and watching this YouTube video <laughs> uh, with me and Real Talk Session Series collab. Don't forget to check out A Little Juju Podcast where I talk about things like this and more. And also check out the Miseducation of the People podcast streaming on every platform and head on over to the Real Talk Session Series merch site because if you buy some merch, the money goes towards producing videos just like these educational content. So make sure you support. Thank you all so much. Like, comment, subscribe, share, what all the YouTubers say for the videos and I will see you next time. Swing my way. All you need is a little juju. Later.